To locate all 66 coins in Hellpoint, begin by exploring the embassy. In this stage, you can collect a total of 6 coins. But the last two coins are only obtainable in late game when you have the Omnicube Quantum Light and access to the end game area. To acquire the first coin in the embassy, begin by descending the stairs from the bridge embassy pond to reach the first room. At the far end of this room, you will find a secret door. Upon entering through the secret door, you can utilize the lift on the left to ascend to a ledge above. From there, keep an eye out for a golden glow in a nearby corner to obtain one coin. The second coin can be acquired in the alarm room. Find the cell with the NPC enemy, then hug the wall to the right to find a secret door. Inside, you will find a lift that leads up to an upper floor. From there, look to the right to locate another secret door. Inside, you will discover one coin and a golden cube containing the port Isodon credentials. To find the third coin in the embassy, you will need to search for another secret location. Given you haven't opened the big gate in the Great Hall yet, take the lift up in the alarm room. Once at the top, exit by going right and continue running up right. Here you can locate the secret door in the Great Hall area. After entering the hidden room, proceed to the lower level and use the secret lift located in the corner of the ground floor. Once you arrive at the bottom, use your IMB vault key to open the gate and access the area. Here you will find a cube on a pedestal containing healing proficiency, as well as one coin on the ground to the right. To find the fourth coin in the embassy, return to the secret area with the lift. From here, locate the airlock that leads outside. Interact with all the switches. Watch out, you will get radiation damage, so be quick here. Once outside, jump over the platforms and around the corner to discover a cube containing the broken EVA suit. Jump over to the next platform and then to the column. Climb the column all the way to the top to find the next coin. Once you have obtained the Omnicube Quantum Light, make your way back to the secret area located in the embassy where we previously discovered the occult station. Proceed past the occult station and drop down through the opening in the floor. Follow the narrow ledge until you reach the end. Once you've reached the end, use your Omnicube Quantum Light to reveal a concealed platform leading to the coin. Don't lunge here, instead gently jump toward the ledge to pick up the coin. After successfully collecting 100% of data, return to the embassy's control panel to gain access to the high ateliers. Within the high ateliers, locate the room where the bridge can be extended to reach the author. Drop down near the control panel responsible for extending the bridge. Look for a wall that seems out of place to find a concealed door. Once inside the secret chamber, glance towards your left to spot the last coin remaining in the embassy. There are a total of four coins that can be found in the observatory. To locate the first coin, climb the stairs to the top floor of the observatory. Follow the walkway to the right until you reach the end. Then drop down to a narrow metallic ledge where you will find a lift. Ride this lift up and jump across to the other lifts on the right. Continue upwards until you reach the roof. Use the series of successive platforms placed straight ahead to climb onto a structure below the observatory's dome. From here, climb the dome up until you reach the top with a pedestal holding a bridge synchronizer. Follow the dome's column to the far right of the pedestal to find a coin. As you stand in the center of the dome in front of the pedestal, you will notice a lift just ahead. Grasp onto the lift and ride it upwards. Keep ascending the structure until you reach the summit. Here you will come across a chamber containing four platforms. Collect one coin from the platform on which you land and another coin from the platform located to the left. 
To locate the final coin within the observatory, proceed to the podium bridge and descend the stairs situated on the left hand side. Once you reach the bottom of the stairs, at the edge you will come across a set of platforms leading downward. Drop down these platforms to reach the bottom. Upon reaching the bottom, explore the dimly lit area behind the big pillar in the center to discover the last coin in the observatory. A total of seven coins can be discovered within the Arcology. To pick up the fifth and sixth coin, you must have previously gained entry to Sun District. The seventh coin, on the other hand, can only be collected once you have accessed the Quantum Light Cube. The first coin can be acquired as soon as you input your credentials into the computer positioned in front of the Arcology Customs Bridge breach. As you pass through the door leading to the Arcology, the first coin will be picked up right immediately. To acquire the second coin, you must travel along the route leading to Son District. After crossing the bridge that is heavily guarded by enemies armed with ranged weapons, you will see a narrow girder on the left hand side at the end of the bridge. This girder leads to a second bridge that is placed close by. By looking down from this bridge, you will be able to spot an open room beneath you. Drop onto the pillar positioned in front of the opening leading to the small room to enter it. Inside, you will come across a cube containing 555 actions and the second coin. To discover the third coin in the Arcology, explore a small storage room situated at the end of a dim corridor. This corridor leads to a flight of stairs with the Omnicube light. Ascending these stairs will lead you deeper into the Arcology and ultimately to the bridge Arcology Condor Runes and the passage to Sun District. You will also find the weapon Demon Scythe in the storage room. To find the coin, Examine the storage room for a concealed wall by smashing the stack of crates. This will expose a hidden door. Once you enter through the hidden door, you will see the coin and a cube holding the Omnicube Jukebox Program B. Return to the Arcology by accessing the subterranean entrance located behind the tram station at the end of Son District. Once you have reached the underground room, Interact with this switch to access an alternate entryway to the Arcology. Here you will find a lift. Ride the lift up to the second floor. Exit the elevator and proceed toward the Celestial Workshop, leading to a large room where a ritual is taking place. Climb down the stairs. Beneath these stairs lies a pillar with a green panel, which can be activated to open a concealed door at the far end of the room where a demon had previously been standing. Inside this secret compartment you will discover a cube containing 3333 actions and a coin. Activating this panel will unveil a second hidden door at the far end of this chamber. Drop down to the area below and proceed to roll through the flames before dropping down to a lower level. Here you will find a coin and a cube containing the sentinel's set armor. Make your way back to the elevator and ride it up to the third floor. This is the floor where you can input the black hole door codes. Look on the ground near the computers to find the next coin. After acquiring the Omnicube Quantum Light, return back to the Customs Bridge and the Arcology. From here, take the stairs on the left side of the bridge and follow the path downward until you reach the opposite end of a halved bridge. Use the Omnicube to detect a series of concealed ledges below the bridge. To safely land on the lower ledge, I recommend jumping slightly toward the right of the preceding ledge and adjusting mid-air to the left. Continue dropping down until you reach the base platforms. Proceed along the base platforms until you reach the end of the path where you will encounter a lift. Take the lift down. Once you've reached the bottom of the lift, adjust your camera angle to ensure a secure landing to the lift adjacent from us, so that you can safely pick up the remaining coin in the Arcology. In San District there are a total of 7 coins to be found. To obtain the last 3, the architect's credentials are required. 
For the first coin, proceed from the Corpse Pit Breach in Sun District. Take the path to the left until you encounter a patrolling demon. Examine the left hand wall from where the demon was standing to locate a concealed door that can be opened. Within the room, there is a coin and a cube containing the Omnicube pathing. To find the next coin, navigate to the area with the cable car and search for a stack of corpses affixed to a wall. Trigger the wall mechanism to reveal a concealed compartment. Inside this compartment you will find a lower area crowded with fish. Descend to this space and exit through the right. Climb up the staircase to reach a lift and ride it upwards. Upon reaching the top of the lift, interact with the switch here to open a door from which you can reach the Sun District Balcony Bridge. Behind the bridge in the corner you can find the coin. To obtain the third coin, position yourself in front of the door leading to the area with the occult station. From here, proceed to the left until you reach a staircase. Examine the wall at the base of the staircase to discover a hidden passage. Trigger the mechanism to open the passage and follow it until you reach the end where you will discover a cube containing the red sever and the third coin. Use the control panel on the gate to open the path back to the balcony bridge. For the fourth coin, we must enter inside the Ministry Building. Climb the stairs to the first floor and go through the first opening on the left. Then make another left turn and run to the far end of it to find a lift that brings you to the building's roof. Search for an alcove housing the coin that we seek and a cube containing some research googles. To collect the last three coins in Sun District, Revisit the Sun District Control Center after uncovering the truth about the author. At this point, you have the option to immediately eliminate the architect or wait until the end of his quest in Sun District before he relocates to the observatory. I agree to accompany the architect. Follow him into the bowels area and then continue the stairs down along the path until you reach the end, from which you can drop down into a dark circular passage. From the platform that we drop down from, continue the passage to the right. You can find the coin in a small area behind a pillar. Continue accompanying the architect and follow the circular passage until you come to an elevator. Ride the elevator up with him. Once you arrive at the upper floor, the architect will ask to take a break. Take a look around to notice a wall hiding a door. Trigger the mechanism to reveal a hidden area that contains the coin and an eye code for informational data. Since the architect is unwilling to open one of the two required doors, it is necessary to eliminate him. If you encounter any technical issues that prevent you from doing so, like I did, you may need to wait until he is defeated by a mob. Once you have retrieved the architect's credentials, return to the upper bowels area and do them to open the large gate that leads to the missing coin. There are a total of 7 coins scattered throughout Port Isodom. To locate the first coin, walk up the staircase near the train station that leads to the Docking Bay Bridge. On the left hand side, you can interact with the wall to access a hidden room where you will discover the coin. To grab the second coin, from the circular pit room, head left. As you jog along the corridor, observe the wall on the right hand side until you discover a hidden room. Upon entering, you will find the coin along with an ominous monolith. The third coin is located within the pit zone, where the vault credentials A can be found. There is a hidden control panel, which when activated will briefly open a secret door. Move quickly to the other side before it closes. Once inside, you will be able to grab the coin in a cube containing the light melee conductor. In the ground floor section that featured the broken bridge where the hostess enemy patrols, drop down from the bridge to the right and inspect the wall along this area. To the right of the stairs, you will notice a pile of crates. Smash the crates and interact with the wall behind them to unveil a secret door. Upon entering, you will find the coin. To reach the next coin's location, drop down to the right from the bridge again and climb the stairs located on the right hand side. Before entering the room that leads to the tech station, observe the ledges that are visible through the gap. 
Carefully jump from this gap to reach the upper ledge and navigate forward on the narrow ledges to reach the platform above the entrance to the area. You will find the coin here. Starting from the same spot as the previous coin, proceed by crossing the gap located behind the platform that leads to a secret room. Interact with the wall to enter. Here you will find another coin and some loot. In this room you will also detect an elevator that will take you up to another room. Within this room, there are a series of lifts that will lead you upwards toward the theurgist set on a pedestal. Nearby you can find the seventh coin on the ground. In the Arisen Dominion there are a total of seven coins that you can find. The quickest way to the first coin is by heading to the basement from the Solar Promenade. Once you reach the basement, run all the way down, then go through the doorway, then turn left towards a dead end. Here you can trigger a hidden door that will open allowing you to proceed. Inside you will find a cube containing an induction shield conductor plus one and a coin. From the grand gallery proceed through the door leading into the room with a bunch of congregators. Climb the first set of stairs to find a hidden compartment on the left side of the room. Enter inside and proceed to the lower level to find a coin sitting on the table. In the same area Move into the next room ahead to discover a leech enhancer. You can interact with a switch that will open a door to the grand gallery. You can find another coin on the floor. Starting from the sun worship chamber, take the doorway located on the right and follow the stairs up to the second floor. Enter the room with the celestial beasts on each side. On the right side, there is a hidden area where you can find one coin lying on the floor. From the same area, drop down onto the successive platforms until you reach the bottom. Proceed through the door to find three pedestals in the distance. The floor of the room is a puzzle and stepping on the wrong tiles will result in free fall. Run across the floor from the center without stopping to reach the other side safely and grab the coin lying on the floor. The next coin can be found in the upper section of the mausoleum just prior to the entrance leading to the metal stairs that lead to the mines. Trigger the wall here to gain access inside a secret area, hiding the coin and a pair of filter googles. To find the last coin in the Arisen Dominion, follow the metal stairs leading to the mines until you reach a sequence of lifts. Continue riding the lifts downwards until you reach the third lift. Once you've descended the third lift, scan the wall in the room to locate a small section that can be opened with a metal kill station. Beyond that section you'll find another lift that will take you even further down. At the bottom of this lift you'll discover a coin that might be slight difficult to see. Keep an eye out for a golden glow to detect its location. In Alma Meta Atrium there are seven coins to be discovered. To find the first make your way to Union Park and circle it until you reach the far right of the park where an artillery guard and a celestial beast were standing. You can spot the coin in a small alcove like site composed of debris. To reach the second coin you need to make your way to the Athenium and defeat our praying hostess. From the center of the boss arena climb the stairs to the top floor and turn left. Keep following this path into an office with two sentinel statues on each side of the room. Look to our right to discover the Omnicube Quantum Light and the coin on the right of the entrance sitting on a bench. From the Ostigo Mansion Bridge, exit to the left and continue ahead until you reach a large circular space. Here you find the ring lift. Circle around the ring lift until you come to a set of stairs. Look below the stairs to find a coin. To grab the fourth coin, you must activate the ring lift via the Arcology underside. Once the lift is activated, take it up to the shanty. As you exit the lift, scan the ground for the coin. While exploring the shanty, continue the initial path until you reach a narrow corridor, splitting to the left and right. Follow the right and then veer left, leading you to a dead end. Activate the mechanism to reveal a hidden chamber. Inside you find the coin, a cognition module and an eye circle for informational data. As you climb the stairs to the left of the previous corridor in the shanty, you will reach the second Arcanite boss fight on the western sky bridge. After exiting the boss arena, continue along the path which will lead to a spacious area with an artillery guard in the distance. 
The gate located behind the guard provides access to Alma Mater. To find the coin, look to the left of the gate near the base of a pillar. To obtain the final coin in Alma Mater Atrium, you must venture into the tenements. To get there, path through the gate located at the office's breach, which will lead you to a corridor where you can access the tenements breach. On the right side of the breach, you will find a doorway. Go through it and descend to the ground floor. From there, jump out of the window and onto the rooftop ahead. To reach the coin, you need to jump across the steel girders below and follow them towards an opening in the building ahead. Leap toward the opening to retrieve the coin. A total of 7 coins can be obtained in the Arcology underside. The first coin can be obtained by going right from the breach central mall. In a passage guarded by a sentinel, you will notice a stack of crates. Break them to find the coin here. To reach the second coin, leave the central mall breach by taking the left. Continue along the aisle until you reach a set of stairs on your left. Climb the stairs to the first floor and enter the doorway on your right. Follow the path that leads you down to the room below, where you will find a large metal square piece with the coin sitting on it. Climb the stairs from the previous location to the second floor, which will lead you inside the storage room. On the opposite end of the room, you will find another set of stairs. Check underneath those stairs to locate the coin. Go to the back wall of the central mall where the large metal tree is located. Look at the wall to the left of the metal tree to find a hidden chamber. Inside the hidden chamber you can discover a coin and a reflex module. Starting from the outside platform in the Arcology underside, exit the room with the spawn mobs just before the room with the artillery guard. Find a lift to the right of the door leading up. Take the lift and follow the metal walkway to the end where you will find a coin beside another lift that goes down. From the same location as the previous coin, take the lift down and follow the metal walkway to a stairway leading up. Follow the path to the right going around a large ice glacier until you are attacked by an artillery guard from a nearby building. Proceed toward the guard and then pass him until you reach the far end of the metal walkway where you will find the coin. For the final coin, start from the location of the previous coin. Proceed to the space platform ahead. Descend the platforms until you reach a lift, then use it to go down. Follow the metal walkway until you spot the final coin. There are seven coins scattered around Elmer Matter that can be collected. The first coin can be found by starting from the lobby bridge. Climb up the mezzanine on the right with the strange star-shaped sculpture. Behind the sculpture, you can find the coin. To locate the next coin, ride the elevator up from the lobby and ascend the stairs to the highest level. Take a left turn and continue until you reach a junction. Proceed through the doorway that leads into a narrow dead end where you will find the coin. From the upper level that leads to Uthos, you will see a staircase in front of you that leads to a balcony where an occult station is located. Ascend the stairs to the balcony and look for the coin in a corner. In the center of the double staircase that leads to the upper level, there is a hidden passageway. Activate the wall to enter and search for a nuke to the right to find the coin. To find the next coin, activate the wall on the left in the same passageway as the previous coin to open a passage into yet another secret room. The coin can be found by looking to the far left beyond the stairs. To find the sixth coin in Alma Mater, proceed down the stairs from the previous coin and use the IMB vault key on the control panel. This will lift the wall and grant access to the vault. Once inside the vault, Search behind one of the pillars to locate the coin. To locate the final coin on Alma Matter, head toward the elevator that goes up to Uthos. On the right side of the elevator, there is a wall that can be interacted with to access the coin. Seven coins are hidden within the Ikuri walkways. To find the first coin, start by climbing the stairs from the east square breach and heading to the right. Spot the ramp on the right side of the walkway and climb it to drop down to a ledge below via the railing. Follow the ledge until you reach a corner where you can drop down entering a room below. Once inside, find a doorway on the right that leads to a stairway. Climb up the stairs to the upper floor and use the lift to access the walkway above where you will find the coin. 
The second coin can be found inside the crash tram just before the bridge. To locate the third coin, proceed from the trash tram and ascend the stairs located on the left hand side. On the left side of the stairs, there is a small recessed area with a door. Activate the door to enter and find a lift that descends to a lower level. Once you reach the lower level, scan the ground to locate the coin. To find the fourth coin, continue the stairs and walk across the skyway to the opposite side. Climb the stairs down and move toward the right until you come across a fork that leads to buildings on both the left and right. Enter the building on the left and look for a set of stairs on the right. Climb them up to find a lift. Once you're at the top, you will find the coin on the ground. To obtain the fifth coin, head to the artillery boss arena. After the fight, ascend the stairs and follow the path into an adjacent room with a staircase. Follow the staircase up and drop down to the platform below. Look for the coin on the left side of the platform. For the sixth coin, return back to the arena and climb the stairs again into the adjacent room. This time around, look for the back wall on the left of the stairs. Interact with the wall to find a secret room. Inside, there is informational data, a strength module and the coin. To locate the seventh coin, we need to extend the bridge that connects the black hole door to the crash tram. To do so, we must drop down from the platform where the fifth coin was found. Walk along the wall and turn around the corner, then jump from one train to another to reach the other side. On the other side of the bridge, there are two sets of stairs leading to a lower area. Enter through the doorway on the right and climb up the stairs on the far left side of the room to reach the top floor. Continue on this path until you reach an upper room where you will find a lift at the opposite end that leads down. Before extending the bridge to the crash tram, Take note of the lift on the left. Use this to access a ledge with the coin and then proceed to extend the bridge. With that we have collected all 66 coins. I hope you found this guide helpful and if it did, please leave a like and sub to my channel. Thanks for watching.